so good morning student today i have decided to discuss a very unique topic that uh, money and its importance in finance we know that the, the basic thing is money so how, what is the what are the role of money how the money works that that is very important the entire capital is not the money the money is a common component either it's, it's a, because in cash generally we we are dealing with that so money is having its its own importance that that it's it's a medium of exchange that the common uh, commodity or service uh, and and the, the the amount of labor to be paid in the form of that so that money is very important and it's it's, it's important medium uh, for any any economic activity so money is having its all importance in 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 the in the in the, in the agriculture too and then the the money is also having the 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 very important role in production so that's why we have decided to discuss the the topic in in all means and i hope that you will have a very good understanding when we will achieve the 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 objectives of this topic and i hope that uh, one, one one example i i like i like to quote here over here that the money is money is having its four functions that first one the medium then the major and then the, the money has its function four medium major standard and store so these all four activity for that we require the money so money medium it means it's a medium of exchange then Mm. and the measurement we can we can measure the the amount of labor amount of service amount of length of service in the, in the form of money and when when we convert it to the money and then medium measure standard we can standardize the, the, the that that is the, that is the standard of this particular product or the service so money is also working as a standardization of of any any service or product and then we can have the storage of because we we can't store the labor but we can't store the money and that that to be utilized for, for to convert the labor into the into the capital so that that this this these all are the important functions of the money and we have to we have to follow all these things very religiously and very 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 saliently so you i am just sharing the uh, screen with you you please please stay with me i am just sharing a screen with you so now i think everything is quite visible and my voice is also reaching to you so good morning to all of you today we will have a discussion on fundamental of agricultural economics under which we will take the chapter concept type and functions of money these these are the chapter actually which we will discuss today and we'll discuss about the uh, about the concept of money and inflation and deflation and all these things we'll discuss the objectives and the outcome of this discussion is meaning and we'll understood after the completion of discussion we'll understood about the concept of inflation and deflation and we'll also learn the difference between the inflation and deflation of money and then we'll will also discuss little bit uh, with focus on concept of national income and its measure of importance so these are the three things they are the ultimate outcome of this uh, discussion which we had today so you just wait for a minute i am i'm just waiting one or two person other to become yes nitesh is uh, so within two three minutes i'll start okay because i am just waiting for others to come so now we will start the meaning and concept of the inflation and deflation so first let us have a discussion on that what is the meaning of inflation and deflation so let's let us have a discussion on inflation inflation a situation arises due to variability the, the demand and supply of money it means the situation which is beca only because of the 
there is a variation there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a differences those who are being arises because of uh, because of the range of uh, the range because of so many reasons the the situation the situation which is arises due to the variability of the due to the variability of the demand and supply of money which causes an increase in the price of goods and services it means the the variability in demand and supply because of money which causes an increase in the price of goods and services over time is known as inflation over a period of time to whom we are calling the inflation because nowadays you know we have a, we have a demand and supply situation there is a huge variation in between because of the because of the pandemic that's why you know that there is a huge hike in the petroleum prices or in there, there are so many other reasons also behind it but this is the main reason because there is a there is a less demand because the people they, they are they are not uh, fully utilizing their 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 potential because of because of all these things the, the because of the pandemic situation that's why here we will see that there is a huge hike in the in the prices of so many things in the, in the prices of all, all the so many cars. the the ranges of commodities there there are the hike in the prices so this is being called as a inflation when the value of money falls in the world economy resulting in the rise of gold prices it is termed as inflation due to the presence of inflation in country economy the purchasing power of money decreases because of if there is inflation then definitely the value of money is decreases simultaneously because the purchasing power declines because we have reduced the the situation has reduced the value of money because of there is a hike in the and because of there is a hike in the prices of the of the commodities the purchasing power of money decreases because of the upward shift of the general price level general price level general price index also we are calling it therefore the common man will have to spend more money to acquire a few items yes of course it is it is depend upon the commodity to commodity but definitely if the price decline if the value of money decline then definitely the the amount which you have uh, previously purchasing the quantity which you have, which you are purchasing with with the with the with the with the, with the fixed set of money now definitely you have to spend more money for, for the same same quantity of the item of a particular commodities many expert have view that the inflation will not arise un- un- until the rise in the price level is less than 5% for a big time for a for a long big time the the, the expert they, the, those who have those, those who have economic expertise that this is their opinion then the second thing which is very important to simultaneously just like the inflation deflation deflation is a situation occurring due to the fall in the supply of money and credit in the economy if there is a there is a because of any reason if there is a there is there is a, there is an infusion of money the the infusion of infusion of money is in a, in a in a lower level on that situation the the situation to whom we are calling the deflation deflation is a situation occurring due to the fall in the supply of money and the credit in the economy it means the the the, the money is not in a, in a, in a, in a proper amount which is as per the requirement of the of the of the society as per the requirement of the business community so this is the situation to whom we are calling the deflation this is also known by the name negative inflation because in inflation we have a huge hike in the in the price or there is a there is a continuous because supply and demand uh, of, of 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 money is variability is causes the uh, inflation but here the uh, the situation is altered or is opposed to that because when the inflation rate above 0% deflation is deflation is arises with the emergence deflation in the country economy there is a downward movement in the general price level the price of goods and services decline and therefore increasing the buying power of the money yes of course if the value of money increases because of the deflation then with the same set of money we will we will buy more commodities we will buy more number of commodity we will buy more quantity of com- commodity due to this now people will have able to buy more item with the very less investment so this is the situation uh, the The both are the, the the very important aspects of economics: inflation and deflation. We have discussed the, the concept and meaning of the inflation and deflation. Now, what is the difference between inflation and deflation? Let us have a one by one discussion on that. When value of money decreases in the world market, it is inflation, and if the value of money rises, then it is because 
it is just opposite opposite of that if the value of money increases it it is inflation if value of money decreases it is deflation inflation result in rising prices of goods because of the inflation we know the prices of goods and commodities they are being in a, in a increasing 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 manner they, they, you will find that there is a hike in the price of the goods and commodities and services also whereas price of goods and services decreases in the cases of the deflation so this is these are the two differences over there third one inflation helpful for producer or manufacturers on the other hand consumers and benefit benefited in deflation inflation helps the because because of the hike in the price uh, the the producers and 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 and, 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 and the manufacturer they, they 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 motivated and they they started more they they started to supply more because of the more profit because of the inflation but the deflation uh, there is a, there is a, there is this they, which 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 deflation the situation of deflation is helpful in in, in and, and benefited the consumers benefited the consumer because of with the same set of uh, money they will have more opportunity to buy more commodity more quantity of commodities then the fourth one there is a fall in national income in the situation of deflation as of course if there is a deflation then there is a there is a there is a short term in the in the situation of uh, national income but this is not the case of inflation in the case of the inflation this is not like that it means the national income is not uh, decreases in the, in the case of the inflation then the inflation the distribution of income is not even admit admit rich and poor conversely deflation becomes a cause for a rise in the level of employment deflation become a cause for rise in the level of unemployment because because of the deflation if there is there is there is there is a there is a less demand and then what happens the, of course the, the manufacturing sector and then the producing sector affect adversely because uh, because of the deflation uh, they are bound to sell at a, at a lower price so in that case situation the the the, the employment opportunity um, engagement of the people definitely shows the decline trend and then the sixth one a slight amount of inflation is good for country economy it means slight demand of inflation it's okay because it's it's, it's reasonable because of the, the 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 because of so many reasons because of so many reasons sometimes because of the, the because of the gradual increment in the in the in the, in, in, the, in the income of the people definitely the, the slight inflation is acceptable and it is it is a good sign for for a growing economy deflating is good for the country country's economy but deflation is also good for the company de- economy however deflation de- creates hardness hardness in the path of the economic growth of the country so this these are the few differences those we have discussed that what is basically the the difference is there in between the inflation and deflation and what are the impact we have also differentiated the impact of inflation and deflation in the country in the state or as a, as a society as a whole so now third third thing which we will like to discuss the concept of the national income concept of national income national income is the total first let us have understanding that what 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 is the meaning of the national income national income is the total value of final goods and services produced by the country in certain year it means the national income is nothing it is just the total value of all final goods and services produced by the country in a certain area the growth of a national income helps to know the progress of the country if the income arises in, in, in gradually increases it shows the uh, good health of the country in other words the total amount of income acquiring to a country from economic activity in a years time is known as national income at in, it includes payment made to all resources in the form of wages interest rent and all and profits and all the all these are the, 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 the these are the component they are incorporated in the national income from the modern point of view national income is defined as the net output of commodities and services net net output of commodities and services flowing during the year in it means whatever the activities those who are being conducted by the by the country as a whole uh, for for producing and uh, for producing and consuming the commodities and services during the year from country's productive system 
in the hand of the ultimate consumer in the hand of the ultimate consumer to whom we are calling the national income for the importance of measures the national income what are the parameters on the basis of that we have where will will decide the national income the national income data have following importance the national income data have the following importance for the country for national policies for economic planning economic model for research purpose for measure the per capita income and distribution of income so we'll in in next we'll discuss in brief about all these important parameters uh, those who are being those who are being helped by the national income if we have that data then it it will be helpful for for us to how to how to understand the national income so for first uh, the for the economy national income data are of great importance for the economy of a country these days the national income data are regarded as account of country economy which are known as social accounts it means the national data are great importance for economy of the country because these days national income data are regarded as a regarded as a count, accounts of the economy accounts of the economy it means entire economy uh, the is being 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 assessed by by the national income that information which we are having which are known as social accounts because in in this segment we have all the parameters that where we have a labor what are the increment of labor how we are providing the uh, society what is the purchasing power of the society and what are the profits they are making out of this entire operation so all these things they are they, because of the presence of all these things in the national income and we 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 incorporate all these component in the account of the national income that's why it is it is being called as a economy account of economy of the country and account of as also we are we are calling it social account these after to net national income and net national expenditure which ultimately equal each other social account tell us how the aggregate of nation's income income how output and product result from the income of different individuals product of industries and transactions of international trade because all these these things they are incorporated over here so that's why it gives a it just gives a small picture that what in what way the nation is in what way the nation is moving then the second that that that, that the major importance is national policies because of the if we have the information data of national income of of years then we can measure we can we can decide the policies national income data from basis of the national policies such as employment policies because these figures enable us to know the direction in which the in industrial output investment and saving etc change and proper measures can be adopted for bring the economy on the right path because of this if we have these all the figures national income figures in our hand then we can we can draw the national policy national employment policy national trade policy there are several other policies those who are can be easily 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 in easily easily formed and they they can be implemented for the further development and growth of the of the society as a whole as a country so this national this national income is very much important to draw and to decide the path of the national policies then the third one is economic planning in the present age of planning the national data are great importance for economic planning it is essential that the data pertaining to country's gross income output saving consumption from different sources should be available if this data is available in national income then we can have the economic planning in what way the the, the economic activity can be performed in the country we can have the the, the planning for next incoming five years just like in our country and we can have the budgetary that that allocations of our resources to 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 develop and to, uh, to develop and 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 to and, and ensuring the growth of the entire country as a as a whole without these planning is not possible because if we don't have the, all these information with us then it's very difficult to have a to have a to have a planning to have a perfect planning similarly the economist proud propound short term as a long term what kind of short term and long term those, those are the models can be can be used so these all are dependent upon the on the on the, on the information in what way we allocate our resources the investment model in which the national income data were uh, are very wisely and wisely used so these this national income data they, they are very important they, we can use 
in what way we can have the short term or long term economic rule and and the pathway to 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 proceed further on economic front all these things they 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 are, they are, they, are, they are, can be easily decided if we have the data of national income then the fourth one the importance of uh, measures of uh, national income is economic module economists build short term and long term economic module in which the national income data were widely used which we have discussed in the first uh, the third one also in, in the third segment also and for research also you know that the national income data also made use for the research scholars economists they make use of the variable data of the country input output income saving consumption investment employment etc which are obtained from the social account because of these parameters the, the researchers they they, they can have uh, they, they 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 can address their hypothesis those who are being based based on the economic that that status and the, the the because of any any change in any 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 and any system any any economic policy what are the impact on 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 the society that can easily be measured by the researchers through the through the hypothesis which they have drawn then the the sixth one importance is per capita income if we have the national income data are significant for a country per capita income which reflects the economic welfare of the country if the national income data we are having we we have the individual income also per capita income then we can understood that after the policies those we have adopted we have drawn and after the implementation of these policies what are the change what are the significant change we have in the in the in the society as a whole so these all things can be easily 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 governed the higher the per capita income the higher the economic welfare and vice versa if lower then so the economic welfare then the seventh and the, the last of income through national income data we can have the idea that which segment there there is a increment in the national income where we have we have we have that the national income which is showing the declining trend so those both of both of these figures they are there and on the basis of that we can say that in what way the the, the national income is proceeding in what way the national that, that the nation's economic economic situation is national income statistics enable us to know about the distribution of income in the country from the data pertaining to wages rent interest profits we learn of the dis disparities in the income of different sections of the society similarly the 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 regional distribution of income is revealed it is only on the basis of these that the government can adopt measures to remove the inequalities disparities and other that the, the the differences social and social and economic differences of income distribution and to resource regional equilibrium with the view of removing these all personal and regional dis, dis equilibrium the the decision to levy more taxes and increase public expenditure also rest on the national income if the people those who are having the higher income uh, in, in in the in the national income segment we the, the government can make the policy and the government can tax these people to 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 welfare the weaker section of the society so all these can be done only if we have national figure data in our head so this is all about today's discussion we we, we are almost reached we have discussed all the things as per our objective that meaning and concept of inflation and deflation which we have discussed and we have also discussed simultaneously difference between the inflation and deflation of money and the, and, and and the last we have a, we have a little bit focus on the concept of national income and its measure why we are measuring and what are the importance of measuring the national income so all these things we have discussed thoroughly now we have a certain multiple choice questions based on these the situation let us have a discussion on on that one by one so first question which we have taken if inflation is anticipated if the situation is like that if the inflation is anticipated then out of the four options which we are having in front of us the the, the what were the result it cost less to society than if unanticipated it means if inflation is anticipated the the right answer is it cost less to society than if unanticipated then the second question business fluctuations are business fluctuations are non periodic recurrent fluctuations in overall economic activities then the third one which one of following is a flow concept which one 
of following is the flow concept so the national income concept is the flow concept national income is the flow concept then which one of the following is least like the others which one of the following is least like the others the right answer is discouraged worker and employment discouraged worker employment is one of the following is the least like and least like it means the the, the situation where discouragement of worker is there this 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 situation was not appreciated in general and the fifth if the inflation rate is anticipated if the inflation rate rate is anticipated inflation may not be major problem if little bit you know that the little bit that enhancement in the inflation is appreciated because it it's a parameter who indicate that the entire society or entire country is moving in a good direction so inflation may not be a major problem in that situation then the unanticipated deflation hurts fixed income groups because because of that you know that the deflation is just opposite of the inflation inflation resulted in the hike in the price and uh, price of, price and uh, price of the goods and the commodity but here the deflation because of the value of money increases ultimately the the, the producer and man, manufacturer they they they, they, are, they are being displeased because of this situation hurts fixed income groups so it hurts the fixed income groups now consumer price index consumer price index the, does not completely account for the quality changes and therefore is biased because sometimes it can be manipulated and managed by the by the persons or by the by the government those who are having the interest their own interest they can have they, they can manipulate all these things so this is not only the completely that account for the quality changes and therefore is biased that's why we are calling it like that so these are few questions those we have discussed now if you have any question you please ask if you have any question you please ask if any question if you are having you please ask Yes Nitesh yes if you have any question you please ask Okay if you don't have any questions then thank you very much but question about the what are the objectives of discussing these things so the objectives of the topic is let us after completion of this topic we will we'll understood the meaning role and basic concept of money then the second objective which will achieve after completion of this particular topic the types classification and functions of money it means here we will discuss all about the money its 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 emergence and its role its classification functions in the in the society as a whole so first let us have a focus on concept of money anything which is widely accepted in payment of goods service is called money in other words anything that perform the function of exchange it means the exchange function in what way you can have the transaction of goods and service to another person and the exchange function being complete money, such as gold silver copper paper money currency or bank note checks etc all these they are being known as money and they are being called as a money 
the you know that in in the ancient era we have a, and still we, we in in villages we have a barter system it means here the the transaction is in the form of the kinds it means you give them something or some product or some service then they will give you something in the in the form of the things or kind so this kind of system is being called as a barter system before the introduction of money the exchange was carried out on the basis of exchange of goods or service directly this system is known as barter system in villages we know that the people they are working in the in the farms of the big farmers and in 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 the alternate in in the form of the wages they are giving them the wheat or something like that pulses or something like that some 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 clothes or something something which is which is which, which is in compensation of that the work they have performed so here the money is not there but the, the things or 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 the commodity they have given against the work and against the labor those they have performed it is money less economic system which involves direct exchange of goods and service with other goods and service so this kind of system we in 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 ancient era in ancient ancient era it was there in in everywhere in the world but nowadays still we we can find this system at at at, at a remote area in village level so now let us have understood it to come out this this, uh, this barter system because there are so many problems because of that actually we, we cannot measure the exact exact that, that that the amount or exact that that the, the compensation which which a person is 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 received in the exchange of that services or the product which we have which we have received uh, by them so this that this is that's why the the value of money is very important the value of money is the purchasing power of money it's referred to number of goods and services that the money can buy larger the amount of goods and the services money can purchase the larger will be the value of money and lower the amount of goods and services the money can be purchased at lower the value of money it means we can have any standard that that how much the money we are we are giving in 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 the transaction or in in the in the exchange of that commodity or service that we can have control over it so according to robertson the value of money means the amount of thing is general amount of thing in general which will be given in exchange of a unit of money it means amount of thing in general which will given which will be given it means whatever the amount which we have given against the single unit of that that goods or service the purchasing power of money inversely related to the price level price level is high purchasing price the purchasing power is of money is high that that we have also understood while we have discussed the the effect of uh, pr- uh, price on the demand and supply that we have we have discussed in detail already in our previous previous lectures now the 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 check drawn on or current deposit of bank bill or exchange promissory note draft and letter of credit are example of credit instrument and used at the money pocket so now we'll have a discussion on that that uh, that uh, the classification of money first we'll discuss in what way actually we are classifying the money money in generally divided into four category commodity money in barter yes, system various commodities were used as a medium because here the, the the exchange is in the form of the things or in the form of the commodity so in barter system it was there but nowadays it was rarely used at at remote area sometimes but otherwise in general it was not in in practice nowadays goods or commodities exchange in terms of goods or commodities commodities money lacked the basic basic feature of good money like general acceptability stability etc so commodity money is discarded in the monetary system that i have already told you now that the second one is metallic money metallic money is known as a money made up metals like gold silver copper and iron this was in practice in our country in in mughal era or in, even before while we we have the coin of gold silver or copper or, or like that it is the form of monometallic it means here we have only single metal either it's a gold it's a silver or it's a, it's a bronze or it's a copper and the second one is biometric money it means here we have a mixture of two or more than that that uh, that metal monometallic money is made without mixture of metal and biometric is made up of mixture of gold and silver so this is like that so metallic money which is which was earlier in practice nowadays paper money still we have biometallic money here 
more than that the metals we are using the points we which we have in nowadays in practice they are of like that now the paper money the third one which is very important and which is still in practice the most the money which is made up of paper is known as paper money to whom we are calling the notes in rupees or like that the face value of paper money is more than is intrinsic value higher the face value of paper money greater its facility in the transaction the for example 2000 rupees note is more valuable as compared to 500 rupees or 100 rupees so it means the face value of the uh, rupees uh, taken into the account over here it is easier to handling and accessibility because if it is in in, in transaction then it is well to and as acceptable also then the bank money or credit money the check or demand draft is known as bank money it is also called as an option Optional money because no one can be forced to accept this type of money because this money is generally being accepted, uh, which, which, which we use for the transaction and this is not for general use because the, the check which you have given to uh, either yourself or given to anybody else that only the person can have the concern with uh, that uh, that money. The check drawn on. current deposit of bank bills of exchange promissory notes draft and letter of credit are example because you know that the, the we have a very very the, the, the scam in our country where the the letter of understanding lou only given by the banks in favor of a particular person and then he had encashed all the things so lou checks demand draft deposits bank received promissory notes drafts all they are they are the part of this this bank or credit money now let us have a discussion on the role of the money money is very important as you know the, the money is having the four important functions they are that the money has its function for medium major and standard store it means these are the four things they are they are they are they are, they are being facilitated by the money so role of money is very important in production money facilitate production by stimulating savings and investment it helps in the capital formation and mobilizing capital in the form of money you can easily save money you can you can invest money in in the in the interest of the development of the infrastructure in the investment of the development of the of the, of the, of the creation of the job or or so so and so on so it means the whatever the saving is there we can utilize that saving that investment in anywhere else uh, without any hesitation without any, any 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 barrier so money is very important it it is we can use the money in in enhancing the production of any any particular commodity or any particular uh, particular thing in distribution it plays an important role in field of distribution of national income as wage rent interest all these are the these are the ways where we can use the money very easily now in consumption money enable consumer to maximize his satisfaction people use money to buy the goods it means there is a, there is there is a, there is a, there is a price in tax actually on which the transaction being carried out it means there is a consensus in between the consumer and the, and the producer or in the, in the in the seller or the buyers that can give the satisfaction so it means it means the money can have the power to enhance the consumption consumption capacity of the mass in exchange in exchange that definitely it's very easy Uh, that if we have money if we have money in transaction we can have we can easily exchange the 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 creation the creation of work into the into the into the money or a product into the money money possesses the purchasing power and services as a medium of exchange yes that is there public finance government receives revenue such as taxes and uh, and the fines or or so and so on duties they can easily be collected if we have a money in the transaction then the characteristics of the money here first we have discussed the role of money now let us have to understand that what what are the characteristics of the money money remove the disstability dissalability money remove the dissalability it means if money is there in the form of the transaction being utilized in the form of the transaction in the form of the in, the, in exchange then it can facilitate the salability of any any product or service otherwise it's very difficult because if in water system you know there is no measurement there is no actually the parameter to to have whatever we are getting in the 
in the return of that that service or the product which we have given to the ultimate user so money remove the this saleability in the in, in the in the in the in the country or in the world as as, as a whole now the second storability you can store money you cannot store the product or commodity up to a certain extent you can store but other, otherwise you cannot store so in the form of money you can easily store the store the product or service which you have created generated and that can be further trans, transformed in the, in the market whenever the, there is a need then the transportation transportability money you can easily transport the money either it's bank money or or in the, in the cash or nowadays we have the online transactions so it's very easy to transfer the money in in exchange of that service or product which you are which you are obtaining now sir, now ability yes we have hello sir sir bachche yes, yes. bachcho ko sir mein bas message aaya sir teen char bachcho ko allow kar do sir wo class mein allow nahi hua ek second just hold on i allow nahi hua sir allow and the nitesh is there i think now i have allowed nitesh also yes now nitesh is it arshita amit and abhi please you 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 four are only here so anyway uh, you just I, I'll, i'll just wait uh, one minute to uh, let the break i'll give and then and then i'll start okay okay sir so now shall we start yes sir is correct okay so now no one is in waiting room so now once again i am starting from where i left and then will i give the revision of that particular which we have discussed over here so now we have completed the whole of money and then we are discussing the characteristics of under that we have discussed the dissalability because money removed the dissalability because of the motile nature then we have the importance of money in storability you can store the money uh, up to any extent instead of storing the commodity or the or the things or the service then the money also help in facilitating the transportability you can easily transfer money from here to there in in nowadays we have online transaction so money can easily be transported from here to there or to 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 someone to whom you want to transfer in 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 respect to the the commodity which is very difficult for transferring here and there and that person can have a, a, the utilization of that money in what way he want to utilize the 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 way or sir, things or the the, the product sir. yes yes sir adit ko allow kar lo sir wo bol raha hai sir message sir, kar abhi ha abhi abhi aaya abhi aaya yes now i have allowed adit adi also so anyway no one is there in the waiting room now so once again i'll start because it's disturbing you please come on time it's on 22 minutes gone now if somebody is asking to have for, for induction in class it is a funny situation anyway so we are discussing the characteristics of money the money has character to 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 remove the condition of this celebrity because money facilitate the celebrity of any any commodity any product or any service then money in enhance the storability you can store money up to any extent in spite of that you you are going to store the commodity or service or any product then the transportability then the transfer of money is very easy you can transfer money from here to there nowadays online transaction is there in spite of that the commodity or the things transferring of commodity or things that you can buy that commodity or things where you want to buy after transferring the money then the stability money give the stability in the society stability in the economic system economic st economic stability can only be achieved if we have a money 
in transaction stable stability is response stability is the is the is the one of the most provide stability value also if we will will value can be value can assert what what is the situation right? the money what is the situation what is value of the money of a particular country against a standard dollar or us dollar or like that whatever the transaction is there which was world wise acceptable so we'll compare that money very easily uh, and we can have the assessment of the value of money now the general acceptability is also very important that that is a characteristic of this uh, this uh, this money so we have discussed the role of money first we have discussed the concept of money now we have completed the characteristics of money now let us have a classification in what way actually we have discussed so already we have completed the commodity then the metallic and the paper and the bank transaction these things we have completed now we will discuss the functions of money so i there is very in sentence in a one sentence we can say like that money has its function for medium measure and standard store so it's, it's these four things they are being addressed by the money so for for your for your for your knowledge once again i am i am i am i am giving this this the slogan that money has its function for medium major standard and store it means these four that functions they are very important and vital functions in any economic system they are being addressed by the money so let us have a first price. now the from from uh, functions point of view we we have subdivided this function under the three category primary functions and secondary function and then the contingent 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 function so let us one by one we'll discuss under primary function functions the functions of money are given below number 1 that that i have that the, within from that slogan you have all the functions number 1 medium of exchange it means here the money which is responsible for the for the for to to facilitate the exchange function it means you can have easily exchange function completion if we have a we if we have a trade via money it is used to in buying and selling of the goods and services it makes the exchange of goods and services efficient by facilitating multiple exchanges of goods and services with less time and efforts now second function is under primary functions measure of value it is another important function of money in a in a barter system there was not you know that in barter system we have only the exchange of things and commodities so in barter system there was not common measure of value actually the actual value of that product or service they 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 are no nearby so in that case the money you can through money or to through the through the exchange and transaction of that money system we can have the, the we can have the assessment of the value of the different kind of goods how and we can easily compare with each other money can be used as a measure of value of different goods and services individual find it convenient to use the monetary units as a measuring unit then the secondary function so second money of value the all the functions i have given you the slogan money has its function for medium major standard and store all the functions they they are of within that 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 slogan so now the the secondary function the secondary functions of money are store of value it means in the form of money is for very easy for us to store the value of any commodity or any, any service an important secondary function of money is store of value of any goods and service it is a convenient form to store wealth money is a medium in which people wishes to hold the wealth now the second function is standard that standard i have standard deferred payment standard of deferred payment it is one of the important function of money as it can be used as a standard of deferred payment if those this this particular commodity is of 10000 rupees this is of 2000 rupees this shirt is of 800 rupees it means there is there is there is a standard function which can be which can be easily accomplished by the money deferred payments are known as those payments which are to be made in the future money is used as a 
if we will will have a will have saving 8% 5% annually it means it can easily it easily calculate and can be transferred so money has a standard deferred payment value money is used as a standard of deferred payment because of which borrowing and lending have become easier because the entire banking system entire that the 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 the, the, the and that the borrowing and lending system can be easy can be easily facilitated by the money transfer of value we can transfer the value whatever the trans service or goods we are we are we are, we are obtaining against that we are easily transfer the money so a transfer of value that that value which we have received via any service or product we are transferring that value in the form of the money so it's very easy also for for transferring the value of money another important function of money is transfer of value it helps to transfer the value of the assets properties also the income of the person to another person the person if we have engaged for the, for the labor for various work 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 which we have in our enterprises we, we can easily transfer the the, the 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 work those they have done for us in the form of the money it is also had made the transfer transaction of goods and service simpler because we have in 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 operation money in transaction tendering that money or the notes or the, or the rupees or, or, or the banking system then we can have easy very easy to transfer the value of that money or value of that that product or that commodity which we have obtained so these are the that storage then the standard and the transfer of value these all three they are they, they are they are they came under the secondary function now we have a continuation they are the functions they are they are they, they, they are they are these are the functions of money they are, they are time and again they are they are changing as per the need and the requirement of the of the of the, of the, of the society for example calculation of national income national income of accounting what is the national income of the individual what is the national income of particular firm what is the national income of particular society we can have easily can calculate by the by the in the form of the money if we have in transaction money help in national income accounting and also help to calculate the national income money help in distribute the national income amount the public it we can allocate our resources very easily if we have a standard that that value or that the money which we have in our country or in our or worldwide also it help in calculating them and distribution of national product through the system of wages rent interest profit subsidies or like that so and so on now the second maximization of satisfaction it is another very important function of money it helps to maximize the benefit of the custom consumer a consumer maximizes the satisfaction by comparing the price of each goods or service which it it means marginal utility whether the the, the revenue you have given against the marginal utility it means the satisfaction level can be can be understood and can be defined also whether the consumer is satisfied whether the producer is satisfied or not so money has its its, its power to enhance the maximization of satisfaction among the society among the buyers and sellers among the users and producers then basic of credit the another that the contingent function is basic of credit another important function of money is the basis of credit credit is it means whatever the, if you have the the, the wealth in in the form of the money analysis in the form of the money your credit is in accordance to that it means the another important function of money is basis of credit credit is really important aspect of the modern economic system and also money con constitute the basic of credit the bank credit creates credit on basis of the deposits made by the people on the bank or whatever the assets details balance sheet submitted by a firm credit based on that so that nowadays the country's credit also being assessed by the by the different that imf and and other the, the international agencies financial agencies those who are rating the credit of countries also and they 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 are placing them in accordance to the credit they are having then the liquidity of wealth it, it's very important that uh, the money in in the form of the money we can have this this, this situation very easily 
liquidity means the transferability of any kind of property from money to wealth or vice versa wealth to money it can very easy you can liquidate uh, all the assets very easily if you have money in the in the, in the transaction money imparts liquidity to various form of wealth so all these things we have completed now we will we'll have a few questions on the basis of the discussion which we have completed i think everything we have completed we have first i'll i'll, I'll go once again the recap on that that the first we have started the discussion on the concept of the money then we have discussed regarding the barter system then value of money then the definition of robertson regarding the value of money then we will we'll, we have discussed the the classification of the money that com commodity classification that the metallic and the paper and the bank money and then we will we have discussed the role of money then we have given the, the focus on the characteristics of money that what kind of character money is having money have the power to 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 influence all the characteristics those we have discussed over here that the saleability can be can be influenced by the money storability transportability stability stability of value and general acceptability these are the characteristics of the money then classification of money we have completed and then then in last we have discussed regarding the uh, the the classification of money we have completed that the, that the primary function secondary function and then the contingent functions all these are we have discussed discussed in our our this 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 lecture in detail so now we'll have we'll we'll discuss regarding the that the mcqs those who are possible mcqs from the discussion which we have discussed till now because our discussion was to achieve these objectives that we will we'll, after discussion we have understood that meaning of money role and basic concept of money then the type and classification and functions of money all these things we have discussed in detail and on the basis of these objective uh, to to satisfy and to recheck the, the understanding we have framed these mcqs so let us have a discussion on mc mcqs one by one what is the defect of the barter system lack of double co coincidence of wants difficulty in measurement of value difficulty in store of value so all of these they are the defect of the barter system because we cannot assess all these three exactly so that that is why the barter system is a defective system which of the following is the credit money check and draft promissory note exchange note all of these yes all these check and draft the debt they are belonging to the bank money check and draft then the promissory notes also issued by the bank then the exchange note letter of that uh, understanding lous they are also being given by the bank so all these three they are also the the the, the, the part of that credit money then the, in order to encourage investment in economy central bank may enter what central bank may do to encourage investment in economy reduce cash reserve ratio uh, if the bank is reducing the cash reserve ratio then the cr ratio generally we have discussion nowadays on day to day basis that cr what is the cr ratio if bank reduces the cr ratio then we have a surplus money in the market because the money is money is available at a cheaper rates if the cr ratio goes down it means we have a possibility of availing the availability of of of, of debt at a, at a, at a cheaper rate so bank can reduce this cash reserve ratio then they if they if they not hold the cash at their end then definitely that cash to be infused in the in the market or in the society then the fourth institution that accept the deposit for lending purpose is known as the, the the institution those who are accept the deposits it means the afds or the the the, 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 the other that the, the capital that that we are having in the form of the of, of the papers or like that they they are the commercial bank actually they they accept all these things and they issue the credit or they issue the issue the loan on the basis of that that the property or that that, that the deposit which we are having the central government government or public so the commercial bank only they, they are doing this thing in our country the central bank can increase the availability of credit by raising repo rates by raising reserve repo rate by government securities 
selling government securities if they start selling government securities they can then they have the surplus fund in the in, in the banks then they can they can they can provide that money into the into the form of the form of the loan into the market then the sixth question giving permission to withdraw money by an account more than deposits is known as it's a simple overdrafting when we and this is generally in this is generally allowed in the in the in the in, in the form of the accounts which we have in our country the current account where there is a limit fixed by the by the bank for a particular firm or for a particular individual or for a particular society at any time whatever the cash he is having it's not the matter if he if he had the 10000 rupees but if his credit fixed by the bank 10 lakh rupees what about whatsoever the amount is there up to 10 lakh rupees they they give the, they 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 pass there all the checks and all the all the day. all the transaction they they allow because they have fixed the credit of that institution or that organization or that individual up to the 10 lakh rupees whether they are, they are having only 10000 rupees at a time but if they issue the 3 lakh rupees or 5 lakh rupees that you tell they, they they without any asking they 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 leave that money so this is the overdrafting and then they will charge the, the interest for that 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 is the part of that that system then who circulate all mint and 1 rupee note in india the ministry of finance we know that ministry of finance is there those those who are issuing the note one rupee note otherwise the, the reserve bank of india they 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 issue the all major notes being issued by the by the rbi then the the the, the, the then the when was the minimum reserve system started in india minimum reserve that that is very much important minimum reserve means that much of that uh, that reserve you are having that for banks also for for any financial institution uh, those who are dealing in finance they they are bound to have a minimum reserve at their end and this system was introduced in our country in 1957 so these are few important things they are very important from from the point of view that the, the concept of money functions of money and then the, the, the role of money characteristics of money which we have discussed in the detail if you have any questions you please ask anybody else no sir not at all okay i'll i'll send the ppt for your further discussion and understanding and even if you have any question in future you may ask anything any time by any means okay, okay thank you very much so for much. all of you and have a nice day thank you okay so have a nice day now i am stopping the